we are oftentimes asked, crystal bowls or metal bowls? We prefer the metal bowls. These bowls that we feature in our sessions, as well as in our store, are all hand-hammered, authentic bowls made in Kathmandu, Nepal. And they have a very pure and beautiful sound with a long sustaining um, sound. Let me give you a little demonstration of what they sound like. This is a five inch bowl. This is a six inch bowl. Seven. Eight. Overtones, nice overtones, long ringing, 10, Again, rich sounds. Eleven. Twelve.
nice long sustaining sound. All of these can be played with the felt mallet that we also feature. Different sizes, two different sizes, different sound. Not for rimming, for striking. All of these bowls, again, are authentically made, handmade and hand hammered in Kathmandu, Nepal. And the standard size range is 4 to 12 inches, larger sizes upon request. Um, they come in different tonal ranges, but you get the idea of where they lie within by size. We have a number of each of the sizes and they all sound different just simply because of their own inherent characteristics. So what we do offer is if you are interested in purchasing any of these, we give you a phone consultation and you can listen to the bowl that is of interest to you based on the size and your budget. And you can get a very, very good idea over the phone as to what that bowl sounds like. So that's an option that is available to you. They are made from 80% copper and 20% brass, which makes it bronze. In terms of play, um, we also have three different mallets, small, medium and large, depending upon the size of the bowl. Each bowl comes with its brocade cushion, with its own cushion. Um, and the play of the bowl really depends on the pressure that you apply to it and how you hold the mallet, the striker. So it's a 40, usually a 45 degree angle gives you the best result. And then if it's difficult for you to rim it, sometimes the smaller bowls are a little bit more challenging to play just simply because of physics. You give, a, you give it a little tap and then it's easier to take it from there. And you hold the striker or the mallet like a pen, literally like a pen, and you just rim it alongside of the bowl, kind of like the whole wine glass um, principle or concept with the wet fingers that gives it the sound. It's the vibration that vibrates the wall of the bowl and that then generates the sound. So again, like a pen, 45 degree angle, and then speed and pressure determines how the bowl is going to sound. Takes a little practice, <laughs> yes. We also feature these mallets, small and large, which are ideal to tapping the larger bowls, just like that. Can also be used for gongs. If I give the 12-inch um, bowl a little tap with this, listen. Grounding, grounding, grounding. We hope you enjoyed our little presentation about the singing bowls and uh, we hope to see you soon.